Something. Long time. Wait, you two know one another? Yeah, family friends. Uh, let me give y'all a sec. How's this girlfriend? I don't know. Because yeah, you're just holding hands, so just... Relax, I thought I might fall, okay? Okay, but let me explain. Who? All right, man, see you tomorrow at Trinity Turtle. Yeah, peace. What did he mean, see you at the Trinity Turtle tomorrow? What, he's a family friend who's so coming. What? So that's him. Who? The one you keep crying over. No one's crying over him. My bad, the one you stopped crying over. Are you always this insensitive? What? Let's go! Girl! I've been waiting for you for so long. I was out with your viewer. Doing what? MC prep. Love, you're lying. Money Jessel. You're the Jeej. He bought Money Jessel? What? That yeah. man has some fine taste. <laughs> I know. Well, how was your flight? It was good. Just a bit jet lagged. <sighs> Excited? Yeah, the wedding prep is amazing. Thank you for everything. <laughs> it was really just the moms. <laughs> Babe, you're such a drama queen, okay? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Die? I'm just dropping you off. Do you want to get beat up? Babe, can you please come out of there right now? Is like, my seriously. Dad's still outside. Is he there with the beer in his Yeah, room? yes. Can you drive? Do you have a sweater in here or something that I can, like, cover myself? If we would have left, like, five minutes earlier, we would have missed my dad. Okay, but where am I supposed to drop you? You can't drop me in front of my house, babe. I just, I don't know what I need to tell you to understand that, but you can't. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. It's gonna be a funeral. I, I, no, I can't. I don't wanna Why die. I'm too though? young. I'm too young I to die. I don't wanna don't die. don't get it. Babe, I don't know how to break it to you. You're, you're not brown. You are brown, but you're not brown. You're not my kind of brown. You're not Indian. There's no part of Indian in you. When I'm there, there is a part of Indian in you. But not right now. You and mean on me. I'm the Indian as it gets on you. Can I, can, can we just can I just no, go say hi to you? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Look, it's not you. It's me. Well, it's not really me. It's my family. It's you, but it's not really hey, you. What are you talking about? Like, what are you, Justin Bieber? It's no. not you. It's me. I don't have I'm Bieber, just dropping Bieber, you okay? off. It's not that crazy. Oh, well, it's gonna be too late to say sorry when you drop me off outside my house because I warned your ass. So why don't you creep oh, uh, oh, uh, into your house? Oh, like, what are you talking karaoke. about? We're doing karaoke now. Might you think as well. This is a joke. Be. You think my life is a You're joke? A grown ass woman, babe. Yeah, You're but grown. So my don't parents, you have a job? I do have a job. You should be you able to get dropped off respectfully. Respectfully, look what I look like. You're in a jumpsuit. Like, what are you? Like, what yeah, are you talking when you get about? Jumped if you are gonna drop me outside my house. Who's jumping so, us? My dad. He's crazy. Oh my god, I can't take it. Uh, oh, so now you want to break up with me? Is that what's happening here? We're breaking up because Nobody I can't said run that, down babe. the street with a jumpsuit on. Apparently, that's illegal. Hello. I don't understand why I can't drop you off. Can you shut up, Gary? What's going on? How's Gary supposed to drop me off? I mean, I'm doing laps back and forth like this is a track meet. Like, I don't go to high school anymore. That's fine. Like, that's great. I just... know that. I'm smart. That's, that's, I know. Tell him to drop you off at the end of the street. Just say you were going for a walk. No, I'm dressed like a slut. What are you talking about? For my parents, this is slutty. You're crazy. Turn the light off. They're going to see you. Okay, but they're not going to see me. They're going to see you. Oh, what do you camouflage? So they're going to freaking see you. Wait. I have an idea. Just wait for me to call and then just be ready to fucking run. I can't be running down the street with my fucking hoochie race car outfit and heels on. Oh. What the hell are you doing? You're wild. You're wild right I now. I am wild. That's why you're with me. Duh. Keep going.
don't see anything. Take off your hoops! Oh, shit! Oh, hi, Masaji. I went for a walk. <laughs> I just saw her outside strolling around. All that butter chicken. <laughs> Come on up to me. <laughs> Look. Things got a little weird last time, and I just wanted to apologize. <laughs> no, I get it. Get what? You think there were too many balls in our relationship? I think there were too many people in our relationship. You, me, and your delicate ego. Are you serious? I called you out for a truce. Look, I know I left you with a lot of unanswered questions, and that was really unfair of me, so just ask me whatever it is you want to ask me. Why her? No, why her? We were the best we'd ever been, and then you just step out? Things were good, but you're just a lot of work. I'm a lot of work. Yes. You can't have two alphas in a relationship. I beg to differ. You were a lot of woman. You were supposed to be a lot of man. Really? Yeah, what happened to your manhood? My manhood? You're questioning my manhood. Yes, I am. I don't remember you questioning my manhood the last time we got together. That was a slip up. You just met Sonny and you were on a break. Yeah, but my manhood was what kept you coming back. I still think about you. Of course you do. You never think about me? No. Never. Maybe once. Never take a compliment. I can. I believe they're genuine. Well, here's one for you. Your lips. Stop. Make me. <sighs> you were an asshole then and you're an asshole now. I deserve way better than you and so does your wife. Fuck off. Oh my god, I have to tell you this story. So I embarrassed myself acting like Paul was my boyfriend and Prince and Paul are actually family friends. How did you not know that? You know how Indian people are. You can't go to any family functions because you're not even supposed to be dating in the first place. Right. Now I found out that Prince is coming to the Junichara tonight. Uh, what's that? It's a ceremony before the actual wedding. The groom's side comes over and puts all this jewelry and shit on the bride. Okay, so Prince is coming. Big deal. It is a big deal! You need to move on. I am trying to move on, but Jay won't answer any of my calls. Uh, have you talked to Roop lately? No, why? I'm not saying this is anything. It's probably not anything, but Roop and Jack have been spending a lot of time together lately. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm not saying it's anything. I just... I thought you should know. Like, are you saying they're dating? No, I'm just saying that they've been to the museum together, I've seen them at the movies together a few times, and she's been spending a lot of time at his house. What the fuck? What a bitch! Okay, okay. Wasn't she his friend before you were? Uh, okay, but him and I were dating. He was in love with you for like 10 years, and you turned him down for Prince. Again. Okay, if he was in love with me, then how is he moving on so quickly? And with my best friend. Dude, it took him like 10 years. And how did he have time to hang out with her? He doesn't even pick up any of my phone calls. Maybe he's finally trying to stand up for himself. Wow, Roop's so shady. No, 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 no. Don't jump to conclusions. I just, I just thought you should know, but it doesn't mean she's shady. We don't know what it means. Whatever, man. I gotta go get ready. I thought you said the event was in the evening. Yeah, but Paul's coming to drop off some decorations. Okay, Paul. I'm kind of liking this guy. What's up with him? He has a girlfriend. You sound disappointed. Shut up. I gotta go, okay? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Bye. Nevi never helps out. Oh, I know. Did she get your nails done? Oh, fuck, I forgot. What the hell, Natasha? Go now. Did you? Yes. Exactly where I love my women. Shut up. It's a joke, relax. Um, Narcly, do you need any more decorations? Yeah, make sure you go to the store right now. Okay, I'm gonna go soon, so text me. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. So, I 
still don't understand how guys and girls can't be friends. They can't. Just like exes can't be friends. Wow. Now exes can't be friends? What? You never slipped up with an ex? Thought you could be friends but ended up doing something you'd regret? Exactly. If you're my girl, I wouldn't let you talk to any of your exes. Let me? Yeah, let you. What makes you think I listen to you? Boundaries are so easily crossed, especially when there's history. <laughs> think girls are that easily influenced? Yeah, well look at the way chick flicks have influenced your idea of love. Like you need to be saved by some knight in shining armor. So you guys watch porn and think if you touch a girl, she'll gush like Niagara Falls. Yeah, and like you haven't taken a couple pointers from porn. Like you haven't watched Bollywood and cried. So what's your favorite Bollywood movie anyway? I don't have one. Listen, you have a girlfriend, so I know you watch Bollywood. Nope. Why are you guys such liars? Girls force us to be this way. Is she prettier than me? Are you attracted to her? Why'd you like her pics? Y'all just ask questions you don't even want the answers to. That's not true. What? So if I walked in the kitchen and I said, hey, you're pretty. I got a girlfriend, but I want to fuck. What would you do? You're really disgusting. You know that, right? When we see you, we think sex. When you see us, you think marriage. Okay, you're more messed up than I thought. Toss me the flowers, you perv. <clears throat> Navi! Hey. Hi. Uh, do you want to help me? Okay. Uh, you were there the whole time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey. Hi. Okay. This is Kat. Hey, I'm Sanja's cousin, Groomside. Nice to meet you. Hurry up! Oh, fuck. Boy side. Oh no, hell no. What? Alright, Corey. 